is going on everybody so I am back today to talk about the second installment in a series of films that I started watching recently and that is the found footage series the Blackwell Ghost and I really enjoyed the first film I don't think that it's perfect but as I said with a lot of found footage films I really appreciated the atmosphere and ambiance the film was able to create on a very minimal budget it wasn't heavily relying on jump scares there was a lot about it that I really enjoyed so I was actually really looking forward to jumping in and watching the second film and the movie I'm going to be talking about today is The Blackwell Ghost 2. The Blackwell Ghost 2 is directed by Turner Clay. A filmmaker decides to turn the camera back on and returns to his investigation of the Blackwell Ghost in this se sequel documentary. After being provided with new information from someone who knew Mrs. Blackwell personally, the filmmaker begins to follow clues that ultimately bring him back to the haunted house for one final stay. So at the beginning of this movie, you know, Turner Clay is talking to the camera again, talks about the events in the first film and all the craziness that happened at the end before he left the house. In that time period, he, you know, worked on his uh, film that he was talking about working on. He ended up filming part of it at that house and he is still fascinated with what occurred there and wants to kind of dive deeper into it and what happened and while that's going on, he is contacted by a woman who's in her 90s who says that she knew Mrs. Blackwell when she was a very, very, very young girl. And so he, she ends up giving him these uh, access to these files that he gets a hold of and he decides that he wants to try to stay at the house again to uncover more information. So I was really looking forward to this because I really enjoyed the first film and I know a lot of people really enjoy this series and really think that it's something special and I think this movie is a significant downgrade from the first film. This movie is about an hour and 20 minutes long with the additional like 15 minutes of like additional footage that they give you at the end that's supposed to be like lost footage from the damaged cameras. I just did not enjoy this one nearly as much as I did the first one. This movie spends so much time building up in an unnecessary way. There's like a scene where he digs something up out in the yard and it just like the way that it's paced, it's so anticlimactic. It doesn't really like build up that suspense like the first movie does and really keep you on the edge of your seat. Most of like the first 35 to 40 minutes of this movie feels so throwaway that by the time you get to the end of the film, it just feels like more of the same. They, they spent more time doing scenes where like chairs are getting pulled out and doors are getting slammed, which if you crammed this guy into the environment for the entirety of the film, it might feel more claustrophobic and it might put you in a space where you as the viewer are much more uncomfortable and uneasy about what's going on. But it almost feels like two different movies. You have the first half that feels much more of like exploring um, what was going on and kind of diving a little bit more into the history. And then the end is just him living there, d doing dealing with the same stuff that he was dealing with the first time that he was there, but with more effects, essentially. More of like door slamming and like the front door coming open and blinds falling off the walls and the things that you expect in these types of found footage films but like I said what I really liked about the first movie was the charm of it and I also felt like that with how minimal it was with like how minimalist it was with its visual effects and the little tiny things that were happening it really created a much more immersive environment that was something that I appreciated where this one it just felt kind of all over the place like they wanted to expand on it but didn't necessarily know how to and then the woman who plays his wife if it's his wife in real life I'm not really sure she's like in it for parts of the film but then kind of just like jumps in and out to where like it's not really clear as to why she's not involved as much in this one and so that was kind of weird that she was like in the scene where they were out digging around the house but then when he was staying there she wasn't there anymore and so it's kind of all over the place and it seems like Turner Clay wanted to kind of expand on this material and clearly turn it into something much larger because there are seven films in this franchise but it just doesn't stick the landing the way the first one did and I just found myself much more uninvested in this one than I was with the, with the first film in the installment. But I do plan on eventually finishing the rest of these films. 
this one just was not near as good as the first one. So have you seen The Blackwell Ghost 2? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was a significant downgrade from the first installment. I was really looking forward to it because I know people talk a lot about this franchise, but it just didn't do a whole lot for me. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.